Hello, we're here playing the original Hack Me. So I, I don't, I've never played this before and I really don't know much about it, but from what I understand, Hack Me is um, one of the uh, quintessential uh, hacking simulator games. Um, it, uh, um, as far as I understand, is uh, fairly true to life, which I guess we're going to find out. But uh, this is uh, released November 2nd, 2016, developed by Igor Marguren and Eugene Radeev, uh, published by Indover Studio. Hack Me is a hacker simulator game. The main objective in the game is to hack big companies' servers to show that people to show people that there is nothing in this world that is protected on 100%. That is literally what it says in the description. Just sick on that one. You need to use your command, brute force, SQL injections, and other programs to hack servers. And judging from the trailer, it uh, looks okay. I have been um, looking for... I, I've been doing a lot of uh, hacking simulator or hacking themed games lately. Um, just kind of here and there, but I haven't had anything that's gone more than one episode, like 20 or 30 minutes or so of playing the game. Um, I'd really like to find another really good hacking themed game. Um, so hopefully, hopefully this is it. Let's see what else to say. Your features, references to Mr. Robot and other films and games. All right. I, I've never actually seen Mr. Robot. I, I honestly, I, I don't really even know much about it, except I, I kind of recognize the guy who's in it. Um, the main character, cause he's been in other stuff. I don't even remember his name right now, but I know he was in Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, I am familiar with hacking movies like Swordfish and War Games and Hackers, the 1995 film. Uh, and of course, occasionally I come across it in pop culture, but I, I may not get a lot of references here. So if I, if I don't, please forgive me. Let's see. Dozens of hackers stuffs to achieve your goals. That's literally what it says. Dynamic gameplay, whatever that means. Real hacking. You'll use real ways and programs to achieve your goals. All programs were renamed for general security. Semicolon capital D. Pleasant atmosphere, music graphics, and your partner, Elena, prepare you to have a good time. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about how this is looking so far because um the features say real hacking you'll use real ways and programs that's programs with two m's to achieve your goals all programs again with two m's were renamed that's named uh n-a-i-m-e-d for general security semicolon capital d so winky big smile face i don't know man <laughs> I don't know what I'm in for here, but it's just, I had high hopes, but I'm, uh, I'm not sure if I'm there anymore. All right. Well, that's fine. Let's, let's do this and see what we get. Hi, my name is Helena. Helena, I'll be your partner before we can hack Sony and Microsoft servers. You need to train on smaller targets. Also, we need to upgrade our software, so we need money. Okay, well, don't we all? Our target... Oh, that's too loud. Target is the EC Bank. It has a it has a primitive protection, despite the fact that I have collected information about one of their directors. What? It has a primitive protection, despite the fact that I have collected information about one of their directors. Okay. I'm 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 not nitpicking here. I mean, there's clearly some kind of a language barrier. When I first signed into the game, it asked me if I wanted Russian or English. So my guess is that the developers are uh, English as a second language for them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut them some slack. But it is hard to parse and figure out exactly what they are telling me here um, with some of these grammatical and syntactical issues. Um, you can read it in a file that is in a folder on your desktop. Read it carefully because we will need a password. After that, open command on your desktop. Okay. Well, here's the folder. J.A. Smith info. J.A. Smith, EC Bank Director, DOB 321-64. John is EC Bank Director since 1983, not married. He has a dog named Mike. Alleged passwords are date of birth, dog's name. I mean, yeah, people tend to pick passwords that have to do with 
things that are easy for them to remember, and those tend to be the things that are closest to them. But these days, and this is 2016, so even back in 2016, um, minimum password complexity requirements would at least force it in some fashion to be a minimum length with special characters and or upper characters and so on. So, uh, you know, the dog's name is Mike, so it might be, you know, Mike... 32164 or something in order to meet those complexity requirements uh, but still all right so done that um, open command it said okay now type connect uh, three nine one two eight uh, one seventeen two forty six and press enter after that you'll need to enter a password you can check the file in the folder if you forgot we don't need to clear logs for now they don't even know what log is okay so three nine one two eight one seventeen two four six three nine one two eight one one seven three forty six was that right? Yeah, it is. Uh, how about Mike? My password. Yeah, how about? I've already. Oh, seriously. And you can't move. Oh. 321 Good job. We're logged in. Now we can steal his bank account's username and password. Isn't that what I just did? To be honest, I've already hacked him and I know where is the log with this information, but on your nest objectives, you'll need to find it by yourself. Okay. Now type in the command D documents bank log pass to get his file. It will be automatically downloaded to your desktop. Okay, well. Can I? Seriously? I can't remember the path. Can I dir? I can't. Sw okay. Oh, come on. Can I do anything? Or do I only have to do the thing they tell me to do? Okay. I don't know what operating system this is supposed to be. No? Okay. Is there a help? Because... I should, have, I should have written it down, apparently. I know it was DE document. I, my shift isn't working for some reason. Wait. Oh, there is no capital. Okay. Here, I've been worried about capitalization. It turns out there's no capitalization at all. Oh, what was it? I, I'm going to need some assistance. don't remember what it was. Okay. Wait, it wasn't connect? What was it? Can I get the help back, please? Oh. What? What, what did I just do? Rishi, Madres, Moskva, okay. Oh, student, I'm having some trouble with the law. I'll have to disappear from the network. I don't know what I just did. Maybe a year, maybe more. I'll leave your email in the hacker's database. You will get tasks on your mail at this time. While you studied, I worked on my programming language for complete anonymity, F++. <laughs> I leave it to you. Don't forget about our main goal. I hope to see I don't know what our main goal is on account of... Um, I apparently skipped something important. Spam. All right. Well, I can't do anything. <sighs> uh. 
really wish that I had not did whatever whatever happened to skip. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. Main menu, new game. We're gonna start over. Yep. Yep. Okay. It is connect. I did. It's flickering really badly. You can even kind of see it in the video. Uh, connect three nine one two. Yep, same. Three nine one two eight seven six. That's a. I oh. Connect three nine one two eight seven two six. And it was o three two one nineteen sixty four. All right. D documents bank log pass dot text. I, I, I might need to get a pen and paper so I can write some of this shit down. Documents bank log pass. D colon. Documents bank log pass dot txt. Strangely, but it's practically the same password. Okay, try it. Why not just, if you're going to have a hacking themed game that actually has like a desktop and you're actually using a command line interface, why wouldn't you do something like I saw with some of the other hacking games and just use real commands? Like there's no benefit to not doing, like to just enter in a, it just doesn't, just, why, why not just have commands? 1964-0321 J.A. Smith. So what was this I clicked before? Oh, there's a skip button. Well, that makes sense, because it felt like I skipped a bunch. 1964-032. And enter doesn't work. Wrong password. Yeah, it would be too easy. Okay, I'll upload brute force on your desktop. Try to hack this account by yourself, okay? J.A. Smith. Password start great now we have john's username and password we're going to transfer to us all his money four seven five two six seven oops Congratulations, we're now in his bank account. Press transfer button to complete your mission. Um, okay, I don't want to, but all right. Oh shit, I forgot that we had to clear the logs before transferring. We, why would you clear the logs before transferring? We need to do something fast. Okay, let's do it then, whatever it is. Oh. That's, this is exactly where we picked up before, so we didn't even miss much. Now you have your email in which you will receive tasks. Alright, so that's what I did before. Goodbye. F sharp sharp, or F plus plus, I mean. And there's nothing. I can't report it as spam. Um. Ne I don't know what that means. Prochitani, I don't know what that means. Okodiachie? Not be sucked. Spam, I recognize. Spam. Uh, Moskva is Moscow. There's an IP address. Vash. Kushi address. Um, Vash is your address is address. Your, I guess, Takushi technical address. Your, I mean, it means IP address, obviously. I don't know the direct translation of the word. I also don't know why it's in Russian. The fake OS even says English in the corner. Oh, which you can't see. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay. Uh, well, I guess let's go back to Jmail. Here we go. Good morning. I spent a lot of time in my Frog of Empires, but damn developers made very expensive currency. Did you cheat me money in the game? Game site is frogofempires.com. I now have 12,500 in-game dollars. I'll pay for this $1,000 for 1,000 in-game dollars. Okay. Frog of Empires. 
back the site and change the data, you will need two programs, CUD and HIVAGE. First, you will find a vulnerable section of the site through CUD. Enter the site you're... This, the flickering is driving me fucking crazy. Enter the site URL to find sections of the vulnerabilities and press the green zipper on the top left. Green zipper? You mean lightning bolt? Damn. This is definitely going well beyond uh, simple language barriers. Like, this is to the point where it's like... It's like they used Google Translate. So go. So go. Do I need to press the green zipper? Okay. Yeah, I do. <sighs> now, this is just Hack Me 1, and it is the oldest of, of the games. As a matter of fact, one of the reasons I decided to play this is I also have Hack Me 2, and Hack Me 3 is coming out relatively soon, so... Okay, it says it's protected, so... Web server tester before... I can't do anything with any of these options, they're just for show. Okay. All right. Do I need to add the H? Uh, seriously? Protected. Oh, seriously. So this is like a um, um, web uh, app vulnerability tester, like Cheddar or. Um, it's the other one I'm thinking of. I used it not that long ago uh, for an offensive security course, and it was a really good tool, but for some reason I'm blanking on it. Burp sweet. That's what it was. Excellent. Vulnerability found. Remember the section and open Hivage. Um, I cannot see the full URL. Uh, looks like it's the Chinese language version, I'm guessing. So, Frog of Empire is CN. Yep. Hivage. Now you enter the section's URL, which you have received in the code. Enter the value you want to change and the value you want to replace it. Seriously? This is not how this works, by the way. <laughs> Searching through player profiles. This, this is this is not how it works. <laughs> We're hitting a web server here. The web server wouldn't store player information. That would be on a database server, which is going to have a layer of abstraction from the web server for sure. And, I mean, I guess it could technically work this way, which, in the, oh, there we go, Player 15 value. Okay, mission complete. Open the Jmail and check the customer's response. Okay. Thanks, now the money will be enough. Transferring to your account, $1,000. Okay. Well, thanks. Now I have NetView. Good day, I'm developing games for PC. I have a very strong competitor. Easy ways that you can hack it. Or can you hack it and send features TXT file? Ready to pay 1500 Okay. In order to hack a PC, you will need to get access to the Wi-Fi, which is connected to the Run NetView program. Okay. Are they connected to my Wi-Fi? <laughs> Because this is awkward. I guess I can. I guess I can just go ahead and I, I, their their SSID is just broadcasting worldwide. We'll just go ahead. <laughs> just go ahead and connect up to that. <laughs> uh, okay. So we have source MAC destination MAC here. Uh, IP TCP. Usually this would be listed the other way around, but that's fine. 
Uh, port. Destination. IP source port, destination port. So these are different clients that are connecting to this wireless network here, it looks like. Um, just waiting for something, I guess. I don't know what I'm waiting for, but nothing has happened yet. I don't know which of these clients I'm targeting, um, unless it's just my intention to just see if I can connect to any of them. Because the information we have is, is very, very little in this case. So the, what this net view thing here is, is it's, uh, it is simulating a series of Wi-Fi attack suites, uh, air crack, um, air, um, airplay and, and so on. Right? Am I getting that right? Uh, in any event, this is normally done command line interface, and you you would see a table like this, and when a device auths to the wireless router, what you're trying to do is intercept the auth, auth packet and then reverse it. Uh, the you'll, you'll get the um, it'll be secured, hopefully, but even then, as long as you can get a hash value, you may be able to reverse it. So that's what we we've, we've done here, and so we have a password is. Uh, SWIT 3289. Can you do anything with it? No. Okay. Didn't give me any further instructions. Alright. I, I, can I run it again or what? Okay, can I? Oh, it does want me to connect to their Wi-Fi. So they, you know, they literally are broadcasting. Um, all right. That's with thirty-two eighty-nine. Hmm, wrong password. Okay, I'll try to come to them at the office and run the virus. I turn to you while writing a virus. What? Press any key. At E. Oh my God, I'm just I'm just hitting a single key. I'm just hitting the F key over and over again, and it's writing virus code. <laughs> I'm writing my own dangerous malware here. It means I can just mash the keyboards. Oh boy, this is this is just like those uh, screensavers. Oh, and I wasn't paying attention, so I didn't see what the virus did. I, I wish I had I wish I had waited. Um, uh, well, the virus is written, I'm going to go to their offices representing a sysadmin to try and run it. I'll keep you informed. You can just play the game right now. Okay. But I, I, I want to see. Playing Brick Breaker here with the uh, WASD keys. It's uh, not my ideal format. Oh, Jesus. Oh, so much for that. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. I wish that I had not, uh... I wish I had gotten, like, confirmation to leave. I wanted to know what that code that I wrote did. But yeah, that was just like those screensavers, like those Matrix screensavers or whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where you just pretend to type and text fills up the screen. So I got no more bricks. Am I just supposed to sit here? Hmm. Oh. Am I supposed to just sit here? Am I waiting for something? What if I let it fall? I did not. I told. Oh, that pisses me off more than anything. Okay, I entered office, introduced the system administrator, said that the last time we forgot to install the necessary software, ran a virus, check your mail, the file had to come. File TXT. We believe Fix Studio paid you to hack EasyWay's team. We will pay you 1.5 times more if you send them this misinformation. At the moment, the development is not carried out. Technical director is on vacation. Well, I did not expect to have serious moral decisions here in this game, but I'm getting paid 1500 to send the real information. 
They want to pay me. That's not even that much money. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to continue hacking. You refuse to get more. Offer terminated. Okay. Good. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but whatever. Mr. Pobbit. Or is it supposed to be Mr. Pobot? Good morning, I offer you a serious task to hack the online store hardpay.com. Just leave it open to change. We'll pay a lot. Well, that's... That is not an amount, and I don't usually work for that kind of thing, but let's say hardpay.com. So now we can go to could. HTTP backslash backslash hardpay.com because we don't have a tool that can infer protocol. It's all so protected, man. I can tell this is not going to be the, the next long series on this channel. This is going to be strange. It's an easy task for a lot of money. The flickering. Items three, huh? Okay, apparently I can only have one thing open at a time. Was it item or items? Oh, wait, I don't have anything to change. It was items three. Okay, so. Thank you for your work. Now send us all the data files and we will be. The data. What data files? I give you a URL that's vulnerable because you're paying me a lot of money to run a vulnerability scanner. This, that's that's what you asked me to do. Fine, whatever. You sent all the files with customers. No, of course they didn't pay anything. They didn't even give me an amount. Okay, I'll, uh, so you sent all the files, but customers have not paid anything. They sent only a strange file. Antivirus indicates that the file is safe. You're opening this file. If you say so. Format. See, okay. Don't trust everyone. <laughs> Money is a lie is the achievement. All right, if you say so. Oh, let's do one more, I guess. Mr. Pobot, we sent you info. We sent info about you to FBI. Good luck. Okay, well, whatever, dude. Shit, let's crack them and look for something interesting. As always, we will start with hacking Wi-Fi. As always, huh? <laughs> they have their SSID is broadcasting. It's Mr. Pobot is the name of it. <laughs> so normally what you would you would have... Well, first of all, a Wi-Fi SSID can only broadcast within range of Wi-Fi, which is only going to be at most 500 feet or so, give or take. I think it's, I think it's about that, um, or 300 meters, so about 600 feet or so. Um, not 300 meters. No, 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 no. For our Wi-Fi signal, it's going to be oh, yeah, around 500 feet or so. Um, that's the first thing. Second of all, you only have an SSID broadcasting if it's something that unknown clients are going to need to connect to. So, you know, if at home, um, unless you're going to have guests over, in which case a lot of commercial routers will have a guest Wi-Fi channel, which will broadcast, there's no need to broadcast your SSID. It might be a little bit more convenient, so fine, I'll give them that one. But that means that this person is, like, in my house or nearby as one of my neighbors at best. Um, and we don't always start with that. You know, that, that would be a network attack where we're, we're trying to attack a client, you know? Um, that's connected to that network. It would, it would be the same kind of... Um, attack vector as if you were trying to plug directly into a corporate network in order to scan for assets that are connected to that network. So this wouldn't be a first step by any stretch of the imagination. Hard pass, one, two, three. Well, I looked through their files. <laughs> so once we're connected to the, to the Wi-Fi, it doesn't mean that we can just automatically look through their files. It just means that we are now adjacent to them on a network, and we can maybe try some some other attacks in order to gain access. It doesn't automatically give us access to anything, unless, of course, everything is being shared, in which case this guy isn't nearly as um, super savvy as he thinks he is. Anyway, well, I looked through their files and found a very interesting scheme similar to the whole corporation. I will try to destroy them. Okay. What am I supposed to... 
too. Oh, I'm just sitting here doing nothing. I'm waiting. So we're apparently routing through the internet here for some reason, even though we're connected to their Wi-Fi for some reason. Yeah, we're we're routing through the internet. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing something or I mean, I'm not clicking anything. So I guess I'm just sitting here watching a screensaver for now. Still no idea why we're doing this, but okay. Screensaver's full. That's it. We're done with them. Now immediately delete the mail and stay offline for a few days. We'll use chat. I literally deleted the icon of the desktop for mail. <laughs> Alright, here's chat. Hello, dude. Haven't seen you for a while on the forum. What brings you here? Need some money? They asked me to use chat, and I can't actually do anything. And I oh this is another one of those things where I tap tippy tap on the keyboard and it types. And I'm I'm hitting F and H over and over again. Do I have to hit enter? Okay, I do have to hit enter in order to send them. Okay, now you'll get mail from he has a deal for you, disconnected. Connected. Hi dude, I have a very important task for you. My child has been kidnapped. <laughs> I would say that's important, yeah. They've asked for a hundred million. Uh, dollars, that is. I don't have that much money, but I have some infos on assholes who kidnapped my son. They've spent some time on CWAD forum. Try to hack the site and look at all users' correspondence. I'll pay one million for this. Okay. I think you should call the police. CWAD forum. Nope. That's not what I want. HTTP comma backslash backslash C1 and it C1 back on that. And lightning bolt. I'm sorry, green zipper. <clears throat> so what we're doing right now isn't necessarily uh uh unusual not uh I will yeah, it's highly unusual, but I wouldn't say it's the wrong approach. So he knows that the people who kidnapped his child um, looks like we have males. He knows that the people who kidnapped his child frequent this forum. This forum may have registration information about their users, so he's hoping to get access to their user profile uh, to see if they have an address or, or even if there's logs related to maybe previously connected IPs or something that might help them to locate where these people are. However, in this case, it's probably not going to be that hard to figure out who those people are. He even said he has info on them, so I don't know what we're doing. So, CWAD Nails. I can't do anything else. Okay, well, I did it, so... And I don't have any values to change, so... Stole the files using... Damn it. There's something about the interface here that's also just... Um, the It's really clunky with the typing. It's like if there's a delay. Searching for files, searching for files, searching for files. The files found. The files downloaded. Correspondence. Gate bill. Have you finished your work? Retro. Yes, I have, child. Sent a picture. I'm waiting for the money now. I've sent my people. They'll give you the money. Bring the boy to the abandoned house in the park. The house is already prepared for your arrival. Fine. I've got the money. The boy is in the house. Surprisingly enough, the house looks nice considering it's been abandoned for so long. What about the father? Everything went as planned. He was aware of the correspondences. We'll wait until he sends us the money. A man working at Macrosoft should have that kind of money. I'll be in touch. Well, I found out that your son is in an abandoned house in the park. Enter. I believe you. I called the police. I hope my son will be alright. As promised, I sent you the file with Microsoft's vulnerability. 
disconnected. Okay. Uh, okay, I guess that's that. Yeah, I think I'm done. All right, so... Um, Hack Me, the original from 2016. Impressions. Um, it is. It seems nothing more than another one of those stylized games. Um, there were... There, I, I, don't get me wrong, there were... Uh, Hack Me, this version, is way more realistic than some of the other ones that I've played recently. Some of the other one-offs, like Cyber Manhunt and so on. Um, but at the end of the day... It's still just point and click showroom dressing for what is basically um, a interactive novel, I guess, uh, is the term I'm looking for. You know, like the story progresses and your job in the story is not to actually play a game, but to just hit the buttons in the right way in order to progress the narrative, which is all well and good. You know, I, I'm a fan of games like that, or at least I feel like there's a place for them, uh, but it's not much of a hacking game. And um, it's definitely not holding my interest because I mean, I'm not even, I'm not typing anything. I'm just clicking. And uh, there's a lot of shortcomings as far as the mechanics go. Only having one window open at a time, you can't have multiple applications open. There's no notepad so that I can sit here and write and make notes. I have to remember IP addresses and, and stuff. That's crazy. Um, there's no point in having a hacking simulator that doesn't at least use real commands and real tools. Um, I mean, I understand, you know, their winky face on their Steam page about, you know, they want to make sure that they, they hide all the naughty stuff. But, I mean, let's be honest here. There's nothing about any of these security tools that's illicit or contraband or anything. You know, there's perfectly legitimate reasons why you would use any of them. There's no need to hide them other than to add to the mystique and... Um, anybody should be able to see through that. So I, I feel like it's kind of worthless. Um, uh, the uh, wallpaper that I've found for myself here, I'd give that a, a B plus or an A. That's a pretty nice wallpaper. Not one that I'd ever use, but I see the appeal. And uh, yeah, but this was their first effort. Uh, I don't want to cast, you know, any dispersions here. I don't want to, I don't want to denigrate the game. Uh, they did put some effort into it. And it is one of the, one of the better, uh, hacking simulators that I have tried recently anyway. Uh, I, you know, I'm thinking about going back and trying out um, some of the other games that I, I gave a pass to uh, that were a lot closer just because I kind of, you know, missed the, the type of game. But uh, this was their first effort. It was 2016. Hack Me 2 is already on my list to try, so we'll see if there's an improvement there. Hack Me 3 will be out soon, and I'll probably try that as well. Um, so, you know, I'm not not uh, saying that this is a bad game. I am saying if you're interested in these kind of games uh, and you want one that is true to life with hacking uh, or a hacking trainer or a true hacking simulator, give it a pass. But uh, there's promise and we'll see, you know, if future offerings improve upon this format at all. So, all right, that's going to be Hack Me. I'm going to try Hack Me 2 next, uh, next time I get an opportunity to make a video. So take care.